Welcome to the Hydraulic Press Channel. Today we are going to test which is the strongest army helmet. And these are all retro helmets, really old. All the new helmets are needed elsewhere, so we are going to not touch those. But luckily we have tested one modern Kevlar helmet before, so we have benchmark from there. And first one to be tested, old tank crew helmet from uh, British Army. And I'm going to guess that this is going to take 10 tons. Five. Five tons. Okay. Here we go. Okay. What? What? This is really big. I think it's ready. It was like 300. But uh, this is hydraulic press channel, so we have to go all the way. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think the helmet was so weak on this specific test because it was so wide. But it's some kind of like a glass fiber or something, it's not plastic. You can see the fibers nicely here. So, yeah, pretty weak. Pretty weak result, especially if it's tank helmet. You definitely cannot run over this with tank. Okay, then we have Top Gun Capits. And uh, I'm not expecting much from this. I'm going to say 500 kilos. 300 kilos. Okay, here we go. Is that broken in your mind? No. No, a bit more, a bit more. I'm going to say that now it's broken. One ton. Okay, and uh, I'm going to say that this is exactly the same materials as on the tank helmet. Some kind of fiberglass shell, some styrofoam, and some accessories. So not very strong on press test. But maybe the next helmet is stronger. It's the uh, legendary steel helmet. And this time it's not Swedish. I'm not sure what country this was from. I type it down here. Let's hope that we get the uh, classical uh, Capitz Jets from the helmet, like the Swedish helmet a couple of years ago. Okay. That's two tons, still looking really good. Holy shit, it's strong. What? Oh. Oh. Okay, now it's slightly gone. I say 10 tons. And now with the cap it's yet. Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh ho! Hmm. What's there sparks from that? But yeah, the Swedish helmet was much softer. This, this is some kind of hardened steel. It didn't flex so much. Hey, go, hey, check this out. Tos keskellä. Katsotko se halkee? Mm -hmm. En mä nyt tule sitä kipinää. Ainakin savua tulee. Oho, niinpä tuleekin. At least there is some smoke. Wow. Yeah, that's... That was a tough helmet. I'm not sure, I think the Swedish helmet was even older. This is from like 70s or something like that. So this is probably a bit newer helmet and therefore better. But uh, it's on the lead. Okay, and then we have a fake helmet. This looks like modern. Helmet, but it's actually some kind of airsoft helmet or something like that, made out of plastic. And the real one 
took about five tons. So what is the difference between real and fake one on this highly accurate hydraulic press test? I'm going to say that it's about tenfold. This is going to be 500 kilos. Oh! Oh! What? No, that was the 500. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> okay, our uh, sensor plate almost slipped out. And I have to give credit to Anni's artwork really adds to the drama here. <laughs> it's pretty bad day when your face rolls down on the floor like that. <laughs> okay, I'm a bit disappointed on all of the helmets. They are really weak. So we are going to make our own super helmet that is just designed to perform well on the press test. So I have raw material, <laughs> thick steel disc, then I have hollow pipe, and we are going to just push it there and the helmet is ready. I think this is a good idea, but you never know before you test. We need wider tool. It's making a hole, not a helmet. <laughs> or then not. <laughs> Can I go more? Is it bad idea? It's going to explode. Uh, I feel that this is not working very well. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit too thick steel. Okay, it's, it's, it's not like a helmet turning into helmet anytime soon. Uh, or then I'm going to now remove this and then we will continue without this slightly more because it's like we are doing something here. It will be a hat. <laughs> yeah, like a <laughs> summer hat. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. We made a hole, but did we made also a hat? <clears throat> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not sure what is this, but it's not a hat or a helmet. <laughs> It's an epic fail. <laughs> <laughs> it's an epic fail, that is the name of this. And here on the end, I want to say that the most important thing about helmets is to always wear one when you are doing something dangerous. So here is uh, what is going to happen to you without helmet. Yeah, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.